Well, hey friends, and welcome back. Today, I want to share with you how I pack using a personal item only for a long weekend away. Whenever I travel, I always like to pack fairly light, but traveling with only a backpack really takes things to a whole new level. That being said, even when working with limited space, the basics don't change much for me. Just like with any trip, the first thing that I like to do is plan the clothing that I'll take with me double-checking the weather of my destination to ensure that I'm packing seasonally appropriate clothing. On this trip, we were going to the mountains and rain was forecasted, but we were still planning on doing some hiking and taking advantage of the sauna at our Airbnb. So I emphasize packing neutral basics that could pair and layer well together. So for our trip, I brought with me one t-shirt, two long sleeve shirts, a shacket, a cardigan for layering, my rain jacket, a pair of leggings, a pair of jeans, an athletic wear set and sweater, and my bathing suit. And then with my clothing picked out, I began folding everything so it would fit well in my backpack. And I always like to fold my items using the brick method, a type of folding hybrid that draws inspiration from the KonMari method of folding. And the whole idea is to take your clothing item, whether it's a shirt, a jacket, pair of pants or anything else and to fold it into a uniform brick shape. And this does two things. It helps your suitcase stay more organized, but then it also enables you to see all of your clothing with a mere glance. So I just took a few moments to fold all of my clothing items. And yes, that does include my bikini. All you need to do is tuck the straps in, fold the top in on itself, wrap your bathing suit bottoms around it. Then with my clothing folded, I lay it out on the bed, and to that, I just added my Uptown Farmer's Market hat. Then I begin packing my backpack, placing all of the clothing in the main compartment. And this backpack is one of my all-time greatest Amazon finds. There are so many amazing features in this thing, but probably my favorite is that it's small enough to accommodate the personal size dimensions of most airlines, but it actually opens up like a suitcase making it an ideal option for short-term travel. Once all the clothing I planned to pack was organized into that main compartment, I got my travel day outfit ready. I just set aside my corduroy jacket, a pair of leggings, and a long sleeve shirt to wear on the trip. Then I moved on to packing my undergarments. I just brought a handful of underwear, a couple bras and socks, enough for each day of our trip. I just placed everything in this zippered cloth bag and slipped that into the side compartment of the backpack. Then we'll come back to shoes in a moment, but first I moved on to toiletries, starting with liquids. I just packed my travel size razor, heat protectant spray, hairspray, some shampoo and conditioner, my moisturizer with SPF, and some toothpaste. And yes, I do realize that my razor is not a liquid, but when I'm traveling, I like to use this TSA approved travel bag as a shower bag. Since there's room, I find it convenient to keep it there, especially since I have space. Then once my liquids were packed, I turned to my makeup bag. What I keep in here doesn't really ever change. This is something that always stays packed so I can just grab it and go. It is pretty spacious though. And when packing light, it's always a good idea to use the available space. And so to it, I just added my deodorant, a hair clip and small jewelry bag. Then I just packed a couple other loose items. I placed my toothbrush in this little travel container. Then I also set up my curling iron with everything else. For packing my toiletries, I find that my makeup bag fits best in the main section. But then with everything else, I like to place them in the separate front compartment. What's great too is it's waterproof. So there's no need to worry about liquid spilling and making a mess. Then next on my packing list, I decided to tackle my shoes. And to save space, I decided to travel with only two pairs of shoes. The first were these cream sneakers and I just packed them into a small canvas bag and placed them in the dedicated shoe compartment. Then my second pair, which you'll see in a bit, were my hiking shoes, which I wore on our travel day. And then next, I turned my attention to packing a few miscellaneous items, which typically live in my purse, but are always good to have on hand. So I laid out some hand sanitizer, hand cream, lip gloss, perfume, a nail file, my trusty Tide to Go pen, some ibuprofen, a lip balm, and my lactate pills. I just used a floral zippered pouch to keep everything organized and in one place, and then packed that in one of the exterior pockets of the bag for easy accessibility. 
And then last but not least, I moved on to packing my electronics. And for cords, again, I used yet another zippered pouch. These things really are just so convenient. And I used it to store my phone and computer cords, as well as my AirPods. Then the only other thing that I brought electronics wise was my MacBook Pro. And to pack them, I just slid my laptop to the bottom of the dedicated laptop compartment, which gave me just enough space for my cords pouch to go on top. Then as a final step, I just clipped together each of the four buckles on the bag. And with that, my bag was packed and I was ready for the trip. All that was left to do was to set up my clothing and shoes for the travel day ahead. That's really it. That's how I pack using only a personal item. I really hope that this can give you some inspiration on how you might be able to pack light for your next trip. As always, don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time friends, happy travels.